Well, wake, welcome once again to our daily visit with God. Just a, a brief Bible study out of the book of Job. Today will be, I think, Friday is when you'll be seeing this. And I trust that you've had um, a blessed week and that things are progressing along with this uh, this pandemic and that it won't be that much longer before we are freed from the prison that uh, that fear has placed upon this this world. The passage I have for you today is found in Job chapter 7 and verse 1, where the Bible says, Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Are not his days also like the days of an hireling? And if we were going to do it, we'd read all the way down to verse number 7, where Job continues the thought uh, that he has started right here. And, uh, and, um, and it has to do with the appointed time for uh, a person's death. We have an appointed time on this earth. We are um, um, uh, here on this earth when God places us, until God takes us. And you know, we, I know there's that thing about treading on the grace of God, and that I, I am certain man could do. Uh, I know that that is a possibility, and and don't think that we should, you know. Um, tread upon God's grace in the area of our life. On the other hand, neither should we fear uh, death. Uh, every one of us will die should the rapture not take place in our lifetime. Every one of us will face death, and no one will face it before God is ready, and uh, uh, no one can prevent it once God is ready. And so all this stuff going on today, it's got people thinking about death and, you know, and the appointed time. And, and so Job has some things to say about that. He, he, he says, number one, that he would not die until God appointed it. He knew it. He would not die until God appointed it. There was no reason for him to, to fear for his life. Um, even in the depths of the trial that he faced, his life on earth was secure until God was ready for him to go. And because of that, he was confident in his relationship with God. He was confident that his relationship with God was was not um, in vain and that and that he would win because of his relationship with God he would win over this this trial at some point he didn't know when he didn't know what God's plans were but he knew that eventually God was going to give him the victory over this thing but he also knew that uh, he would die when it was his appointed time to die there was no way to to cheat death there therefore a person since there is no way to cheat death there a person uh, needs to prepare for it uh, which is where I think our world is so sadly lacking today. Um, we're living in this environment where kind of death is presented to us every single day. They're giving us the death toll. And although I think it's inflated and it's nowhere near what, uh, you know, what they're trying to tell us. Can you imagine if every single day the the news showed us the pictures of all of the, the senior citizens who died from complications of the flu and all of the, the doctors and nurses who died from treating people that had complications of the flu and all of the police officers and fire uh, uh, men and medics who died from the complications of helping someone who had the flu. Can you imagine what it'd be like if the front page of the newspaper, I know there's almost no such thing as a newspaper anymore, but if if all of the social media was just filled with pictures of, you know, and of, of everyone who gets sick and, you know, and every time someone gets the flu, uh, we all just flood the, the social media, pray for this person oh no they've got the flu or what ha would happen if um if the if the the news outlets the media if every single day they showed us a picture of every person who died in a car wreck and uh every police officer who uh trying to help someone at the you know make it to the scene of an accident died in a car wreck or every fireman or paramedic or every road worker you know that was that was killed in a in a car accident and what they do is it it's still a panic pretty soon people think, you know, if they made us afraid of driving, can you imagine? If um, if they made us afraid of the flu, can you imagine? And uh, so that what they've done is they filled our world with fear of death. But the, th the fact of the matter is, uh, and, 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 and you can't die until God wants you to die. And uh, but you have an appointed time. So the the right thing to do today, the thing people need to do today, rather than being afraid of death, what they need to do is they need to prepare for death. Uh, people are terrified today because uh, because they're not pre prepared, or else um, they don't appreciate. If you are 
a saved person and you're afraid, it's because you don't appreciate. And I, I don't take it lightly, but it's because you haven't come to appreciate the promised future that, that you hold. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 8, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Where is um, that kind of confidence, that willingness today to be present with the Lord? Yeah, live every day to the fullest. Live every day to the glory of God. Don't tread upon the grace of God for sure. But, uh, but don't fear the day that you, if you're prepared, don't fear the day that you uh, are in the presence of God. Well, God bless you. Have you uh, I trust that you'll have a great weekend. We'll see you uh, online uh, on Sunday.